as you might know me as uh, Alpha Given 43 for all those who are watching on Xbox. I'd like to, uh, I guess you could say, uh, welcome you here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to find the link to the stream. I actually don't have it at the moment. And I'm not sure where I can find it. I wonder what happens if I click this. Oh, that's for my webcam. I didn't know you could turn it on from there. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool, actually, that you can just view what uh, people are saying right there. So that's kind of cool. I'm still finding things out about uh, Mixer every day. In my opinion, it's pretty damn cool. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's right here. This is my uh, thing. All right, so we've got Mixer right there. And let me pull up what's the name. What's the name? What's the name? Oh, excuse me, it's echoing. Oh, there we go. So let me go ahead and just pull up. What was it? Shoot. Give me a second. I can pause and resume the stream, okay? I'm still, like I said, I'm still trying to figure stuff out about this. Oh, wrong thing. Oh, okay. There we go. Anyhow, I figured for once I would go ahead and make uh, a little stream about Ant Hill and stuff that we do in it. And the reason why I wanted to do that is because uh, Ant I wanted to do a display of Alpha Factions. Everyone knows faction servers are. They're basically uh, servers, I guess you can say, that um, you'd see once in a while um, I think I am gonna edit some stuff here real quickly there you network one second Gonna change some names around here. All right, that should do it, right? I don't know if it actually is, but it should be a lot better now. So, uh, as of right now, I'd like to go ahead and uh, get my act together. I think, honestly, the best uh, place for us now is to go to the main anthill base. Because I want to go ahead and do work in anthill. This is, uh, anthill is my faction, for those who are watching. Um, I mean, there's probably no one watching right now, but whatever, right? I'll gain an audience as time goes. Currently by myself in the server, which is uh, a huge plus side because I don't know if you guys know, but uh, server does get a little bit chaotic with some people in it. Sometimes it can be a little overwhelming and annoying. Not too many people. I don't combat boots. Just want one copy of the Air Force book. We'll drop it over here. Leader helmet. Oops. Hmm. 
I'm gonna send the leggings. Uh, Angel Soldier Vest is a little overpowered, but that's okay. We'll keep that in our inventory. A war Axe, we do need that. Longboat, we need that. Shield, we're gonna need that. War Axe, oh, we already got those. And the combat knife. The combat knife is a nice thing. And uh, we have our pork chops here. So let me just slash heal. Get all those hearts in order. And that's part of the mod. The mod does that. And it's kind of irritating. So much food, I gotta go ahead and put in storage. There's a lot of food in this. It's mainly because of the farm. in here we, we don't have a lot of steak we put as many steak in as we can pork chops can go up in here I kind of need some of those I'm gonna stack them uh, steaks molten we don't have any chicken carrots no I don't want carrots taters People like to steal things out of these. They really don't, uh, they really aren't nice. Alright, and I think what we need to do now is go to the farm. It should be located in the elevator down below. There's a main meeting spot of the floor. go to the animal farm. As of now, our live crops are more than adequate. So we got some of these guys. So uh, they just get all slaughtered up there. And uh, oh, I don't know why there's mutton in here, but okay. It looks like this was emptied recently. And we're gonna have to come back to that. Right, we have to come back to that. Let me get to the TP room. I guess we can just throw chicken in here. It's just extra food supplies. I still have another chicken right here. Steak. So we got some steak there. Uh, pork chops. We got some feathers we gotta throw in here. So I don't need feathers. I guess that'll be a fish chest. I don't know. 
I guess this will be like random junk over here. Alright. Siri over here expired. Although you can actually get a shit ton of food just by punching them with a bow. You don't even need to uh, arch it or anything. You just punch them with it and it gives you quite a surplus of food. Pig death sound is pretty interesting, actually. Nah, I gotta come back for the royal mutton. As of right now, these uh, these things don't like to spawn too much. Yeah, so this is like allied supplies. We give this basically to allies. Because, uh, we don't really keep any of the uh, surplus in right here. And I'll run up to the kitchen with more uh, food supplies. I'm just going to get some more stuff out of the chest down here. I wish there was a uh, system that we have to get installed to run things up automatically. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, whoops. Don't need that. There we go. Can just randomly die or something? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna have to like get some shulker boxes, I'm pretty sure. So I'll have some shulker boxes for transport because this is pretty ridiculous having to do this consistently. Oh, wrong room. I run between the docking area. At least they have like a surplus of frickin' that to make stuff with. I'll just take the TP room to the kitchen. There we go. Cook. 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 Good, right? Don't stop me now. Having a good time.
Alright, well, there's no one watching, but oh well. Hopefully it'll change. Like, seriously, I'm hoping it'll change, but I can't guarantee if it will or not. And we've got to go to storage room, armory, farm floor one. Well, we should have gone to farm floor two, but whatever. more than enough already. Jesus Christ. Hey, someone else is watching. That's cool. Hello, person, whoever's watching. Alright, so... We gotta go back. Awesome. I totally forgot you could do that, but okay. Alright, so the rest has got to go down to the main storage room, which will take ourselves. I kind of want to demonstrate uh, Anhill's super weapons, but I mean, and there's not enough people in here to really demonstrate uh, nuclear bombs and all that stuff. But I think. Uh, Maybe sometime we'll have uh, more streams on here. Alright, here we go. Here we go. So now we gotta go back down to the uh, other room. Hey, three people are watching. Cool, cool, cool. Well, not including my, my no life self. Thank you for tuning in. Um, anyhow, uh, we want to go down this way. We want to go to, whoops. Get the rest of these pork chops. We need to get the, uh, the rest of the mutton out of these chests and the rest of the bowl. It. Yeah, it's more than enough supplies. So I think we're stocked up on, uh, should be more than stocked up on, uh, general food supplies for, uh, trading with other factions. Mainly to the sheer factor that there's, uh, a, a, like, a there's like a big peacetime going on. No one's really attacking anyone, but, I mean... For our allies out there who might actually need the extra supplies, we can finally supply them. And now we have an overload of pork chops that we don't need. Uh, we have some extra leather. I don't really think we need to dump anything here anymore. There. I think, oh, we need to dump the wool. That's really obvious. Dump the wool up here. I have to label these chests afterwards, definitely. Oh, looks like we've even got a pink sheep. Who put this here? Oh, this is my stuff! I like how I have my own stuff here, that's kind of interesting. Hey! Hey, what's up, Fire? Thank you! Thank you so much for uh, streaming with uh, me. That's awesome. Oh, hold on. I got the wrong layout here. Thanks. Uh, you can watch if you want. It's up to you. I'm, I'm about to uh, get some of, into the more interesting stuff on this server. Uh, this is Alpha Factions. It's a, it's a faction server that I've hosted for a long time and I actually own. Will actually played on here a lot. He's admin on here. But uh, it's a really cool server. And Yeah, this is Alpha, this is Anhill. This is uh, the most overpowered faction in the game. I'm, 
I own it, but as of right now, we're currently just, uh, just doing some simple basic faction related things such as exporting and importing of, uh, meats and stuff. Uh, looks like those aren't done. Can't really do anything about those pork chops, they're completely full. I think I might just give it to someone else. Yeah. The way it is, we gotta cook those, we gotta cook that, and we gotta cook 53 of these, and 15 of these. Chicken can go up here, and one can go here, 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 and steaks can go here. And the extra pork chops I could probably bring to someone else's base. Have anything else to do here? But yeah, uh, Fire, if you're interested, you should definitely do streaming over to uh, Mixer, which is what I'm streaming on now. It's actually really good, and if you have Windows 10 installed, you can even do it directly through the Windows uh, 10 Xbox app, and it's it's extremely, really easy to do. I mean, I'm only using 30, uh, really 46% of my CPU right now, just streaming this up, I mean, to one of my main computers. So, so that's cool, that's cool. Uh... Yes, well, yeah, it's not too big, but I mean, it's actually really, really good. Not going to lie. I mean, this is my favorite streaming thing. And uh, you can actually watch it directly off of Xbox and stuff. So people on Xbox can, if you have an Xbox account, can immediately see your streams. And yeah, it's really smooth. I mean, there's no delay. That's the best part. And someone keeps messing around with the lighting in here and stuff. Keep telling people not to. Oh my gosh. Not okay. Alright. House to half. Get some lights in here. Alright, let's get the side house lights on. Shut the curtain. Yeah. It is kind of small, but it works. What the hell? I like how someone put that on the door. I don't have my pickaxe. I just realized I don't have a pickaxe. Let me just go in creative real quick just to break these four blocks. I'm sick of people doing that. Alright, so I'm about to check some military output posts. Why did that? There we go. Alright. So, uh, let me check some outposts here. Go ahead and we're going to do some uh, scouting. Get an elytra on. Whoops, what the hell? That was weird. Alright, we're going to use the military jet book. This is pretty cool. You're going to like this. Uh, fire. Uh, I actually, we have advanced technology. Uh, we actually have nuclear bombs. We have... All sorts of stuff that I've made using redstone and commands and stuff. Stuff that you might find really interesting. And uh, the cool part about it is I can actually, uh, I can turn an elytra into a military jet. Which I can demonstrate here in a second. Right here, it's the roof. Alright. We have a runway up on the roof for easy escorts out uh, it's from the base. Uh, it's easier to do it like that. So uh, we'll go ahead and flip this in. How it works is you get on the runway and you simply get dragged. You just get slingshotted off the runway. It's simple as that. And the rockets pretty much last a good chunk of time. So. It is. Uh, I also have other functions in, in the military book. Like I can drop. Uh, I can drop uh, small attack bombs. I can even turn cannons on. So I'll show you like that. Oh. So 
I can turn cannons on. Uh, I can even... Like, I gotta get further away from Ant Hill. I don't know if I'm too far away from it, because if I drop it too close, it might have... I heard you can even see it. Drop one. See? I ran out of the rocket. Yeah, they hurt you uh, if you get too close to them. So when you drop some of these airstrikes, you got to be pretty far away. Um, they're modified. And uh, what else? There's a bunch of cool things in here. Uh, uh, jet stream smoke so people can follow you and this stuff lasts a very long time I'll go ahead and shut it off that's not good actually that's very not good super weapon. It's one of Ant Hill's weapons, and it's called Taco. Uh, Taco was the first designed and successful nuclear bomb that was actually quite capable of wiping a lot of land out. It's actually no need of using such a weapon for extreme cases. Uh, I will show you what it looks like. This was only one of them caused the damage here. But, uh, yeah, this is only one of them that we tested. This was the first successful test in an area of one of them. And, uh, this is kind of the aftermath. It goes on for a while. And, uh, we ended up putting a wall around it to protect, uh, you know, kind of keep people out of here because it was classified at one time. But, uh, yeah, this was the first actual nuclear test site, uh, of Taco. And it was, uh, a shitstorm. Really, it was. I mean, uh, we also had another small test here. But, uh, yeah, it goes around, and it's, we're not even scratching the surface. It, it keeps going. It's literally a missile that'll come out of the sky. It's an intercontinental ballistic missile. The, the things that North Korea are trying to make but failing so bad at. I mean, they actually have been making some of them successful now. What's my renders instead of that? Yeah, I'm at 32 and you can't even see all of it, basically. But we're almost, pretty much this is about it. Uh, it goes a little bit this way. But this was the first test of an actual one, and uh, yeah. And it, it, it doesn't crash the server. It actually is smooth enough to actually handle it. But it's really uh, a bad, bad weapon. And uh, I don't know whether that was someone trying to test one on us. And because the chunks became unloaded, it disappeared. But from the looks of it, I think it was just an unsuccessful launch. I don't know why it's, it told me it was in the area, but it did shoot it down. The name of... I'll go into the been shot down. I don't know. Uh, there was a nuclear war in here once, uh, and someone tried nuking Ant Hill with uh, an experimental nuke, as they can call it. It was really not the greatest thing out there. And, uh, I've got home. Out. Host. Or, uh, I think it was. Turtle. Oh, we got one of our naval ships out here. This is not the ship I wanted, though. We got two ships out here. We actually got a, a stealth submarine somewhere outported here that no one really knows about. And we've got a, a patrol destroyer positioned out here with tomahawks locked on. These things can actually fire, believe it or not. Not a lot of people know that about them, but they actually are capable of uh, some destruction. They're not all for show. They actually can fire. I'll, I I'll can bypass this. Oh, I don't have any redstone. Just let me launch myself off the deck here. Oh. There we go. Alright, so we're launching ourselves off that destroyer over there. 
Uh, this is the faction out here. They're being kept a close eye on it because they're still trying to run military operations, but we launched a very, very small uh, tactical bomb on them. And they had this missile silo they always tried to, uh, you know, run their operations from. And they'd launch stuff from here. And, uh, they bombed Ant Hill and tried bombing a bunch of allied factions, and we did not take it very lightly. Not very lightly at all. Uh, as you can see, it was, uh, mass destruction. Uh, we actually did not mean to cause this mass destruction. This was only one... This is only uh, we only shot like five or six tomahawks at, from from a submarine that was located close by. We didn't actually use a ballistic missile for this. Well, maybe we did. I don't know. The president of Ant Hill probably. I'm not. I'm the owner of Ant Hill, but I'm not the full-on president. I'm just a part of the Senate of Ant Hill. I don't uh, really take precautions. I don't really. Uh, I really, to be honest with you, don't even. Oh, uh, the door. The, the silo door up there actually used to open and shut, but it's so. DL target. Oh, jeez. Another faction tried bombing them over here. You can see one of the experimental warheads up there. I will be right back, though. Love you. Um, sorry, I'm back. Is fighting allowed from factions? Yeah, you can you can fight in factions. People can come on here and they can fight each other and stuff. But, uh, I mean, there are superpowers and you got the generic powers and the superpowers. And really, uh, from when Will last played on here, it's changed a lot between the superpowers and stuff. And Hill is the only superpower now. There are many other factions that have the ability to cause mass destruction. There's a couple of factions that, uh, yeah. What the hell? Now let's go back to the destroyer here. A submarine lo located down here somewhere. There it is, see it? If you can see it, there's a submarine around here somewhere. There it is, see it? Yeah, it's one of our stealth subs. This was actually a decoy. So, person, I mean, it's kind of obvious that it's here now, but this is one that we kept here since the beginning of time to kind of. The leading edge. These things are pretty lethal. This is one of our attack submarines. Um, a good chunk. Uh, the server last year was the most popular, and back then it had a lot of players. Like we got, our record was 80 on at once, uh, 120 during the day, because school started now and. When we remapped the server, we kind of told people we might not be coming back. So a lot of our original random players that came on here no longer really play on here too much. But I'm trying to get the server really up and running. Um, that's why I always wanted to ask you if you could help me out by advertising. And uh, server IP is, uh, I'll put it in chat. Oops, I put a capital A. This is a capital A. But as of right now, we normally get about, I'd say roughly 12 players on uh, per day. And that's because school started, but I'm trying to get as many people on as possible. But, uh, it, it's coming back, it's coming back. But uh, hopefully I can get more people on later on. Um, I'm actually going to go to something... And Ant Hill has a whole air force and uh, a whole naval force as well.
This is one of our uh, naval outposts. This is our main naval holding facility. There's a lot of ships here. These are all our destroyers. And over here's the big boys. Ouch. I'll demonstrate these. Thanks, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I did, actually. A little bit of something I was working on for a while. And, uh, see these things right here? I have to put myself in creative for this, but, uh, or I don't need to be in creative for this part, but let's just can rotate these guns around, by the way. Let's rotate it that way. There we go. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna shoot it down. We have anti-defense systems that will shoot these down, but why? <coughs> And they rotate all the way around and stuff. Yeah. If they, um, superpowers, so like, so superpowers can go ahead and have people, like, uh, as an example, for them to get powerful, I mean, you have to be mainly a staff member on the server. Will, Will actually is a staff member, so if you guys work together, you guys can really build something up. But, uh, basically what happens is, Technically, you know, rating uh, of superpowers against minor, like, you know, third world factions is allowed. However, Anthill, the faction that I'm in and that I own, is actually the keeper of peace. Um, whenever people try to bomb innocent factions that don't have any defenses whatsoever, we intervene and we intervene hard and we put tough sanctions on people and we do... Uh, we get involved in stuff like that, but normally we try to keep out of it. We're literally just keep to ourselves because we're the most overpowered faction. Matter of fact, our base is kill fielded, but I mean, nope, we don't raid. Like, legitimately, we do not raid. The only time we get involved with something is during a dispute. Um, but many people have tried declaring war on us. Only a couple have really made a successful impact in, in making war. We had a cold war, and hell had a cold war between Eclipse Empire. And a couple other factions. But yeah, this is mainly our fleet. And uh, I don't think I ever, ever showed how uh, powerful these things are. But uh, I have a couple of videos on my YouTube channel of them doing some good damage. I could probably show you what some of the tomahawk launchers can do on these. Would you like to see what the tomahawk launchers can do on some of these destroyers? All right. So uh, they can't move on their own. However, you can move them uh, using World Edit, but you have to be careful depending on which ship it is how how you move them. I'm going to move one of our attack destroyers, uh, the AHN Bill, which is the one of the smallest attack destroyers we have yet. It's the most mighty. Um, and uh, she can do a lot of damage, so three position, you know, slash, uh, slash copy. We'll go to a clear sea outpost, so I don't know. Maybe we'll go down here. Oh, okay. Uh, I actually don't know. Oh, 
Oh, oh, on the server. Um, you know, I could give you your own special rank. You and your friends can get your own special rank, to be honest with you. Uh, I, I would call it the Fire Club or something. I mean, that's up to you. Um, you can name the rank. I'll get you a special rank on the server for you and your friends if you guys want to build up a faction. Um, I mean, you might be able to... That'd be kind of fun. And uh, once you get to do... If you, that's up to you if you want a series or not. I mean, that's up to you. But, uh, like, at the end of your videos, if you'd like to... I mean, it, this I'm not asking you to, but for now, if you'd like, just go ahead and say, Hey, um, you know, like, so-and-so, why don't you uh, hop on the server? I got a friend that, you know, he could use the support. Uh, if you want a cool faction server, go on. And I'll give you I'll give you the IP if you want to do that. It's up to you. If you want to do it at the end of your videos. All right, so we got a problem. The tomahawks, uh, tomahawk launchers are not the easiest to program. Um, got a message in Alpha Factions, I think. The server trade center just got a nice coastal defense ship. Oh, okay. Well, that's from. Uh, we got a calculator direction here. So we're going negative. Okay. So we're reprogramming our calculations here. We want to move approximately negative 3.0, positive V rate of 0, 0. And we want to keep our distinctive actions there. Just gonna oh, oh, you know what? I'll just only launch one. I'm not gonna launch multiple of them. Let's just check our particle bombs here because the last thing I knew they weren't properly launching correctly. At e name Tomahawk. Just double checking. You do not want to launch these wrong. Okay. Oh, that was way too much thrust. You just saw them get launched. Oh, wait. No, they didn't get launched. The, the anti-TNT thing shot them down. Whoops. Oh, thanks. I, I didn't see the comment until now. But thank you. Okay, we gotta turn this off. Alright. Let's try this again. Why is it still shooting it down? A.S. Oh, it's too close to the main base. Home. Port. Short delta. Just give me a second here. Oops. We gotta disable one of these guys. Bye bye. I'll enable it afterwards. There you go. So there's a, that, that's the tomahawks. As you can see they just landed. And we'll go back, and we'll launch the particle bombs. And I don't know if it successfully went off or not. No, chunks weren't loaded, so she didn't go off. Uh, sometimes that happens. Particle bombs won't detonate unless the chunks are loaded. Kind of a weird oddball glitch, if you ask me. Name equals tomahawk. We'll do tag... Hawk. One second here. That equals hawk. Okay. Might have to detonate it over there, to be honest with you. Sometimes these things tend to glitch out. So. So, as you can see, they launched over here. Okay. So, I'll detonate it remotely from right here. There we go. That's the part of the box. So that's what it should do. I don't know why it wasn't doing it remotely, but okay. Oh, that's the that's a particle bomb V3s. We actually have nuclear uh, tomahawks, but uh, we don't show those because those are a little much. But the nuclear ones are more than capable of getting the job done. I mean, way more than capable. Uh, we'll go, we'll draw this back quite a lot, a bunch, so it won't go that far. As you can see, it just, these can launch up to, like, these particular ones on this ship can launch up to 5,000 blocks. I didn't launch it right. 
Russian, but whatever. Yeah, so that's what a long-range particle. And these actually sit here until little by little they'll explode. They take a little bit. They have a long fuse. But yeah, um, I have videos on my YouTube channel of uh, ships causing mass damage. This just blew up. Yeah, and then the ship actually can launch. Uh, these little cannon things can actually launch too. Like watch. I mean, that's just the destroyer. I mean, the battleships can eat lead like no tomorrow, and they can also give lead like no tomorrow. I'll give you an example of how uh, puny the ships are, and the anti-destroyer guns, by the way, you can also do that. But you run a risk of damaging your own ship, which I just did. I just pierced the hull. See, the hull's got piercing on it. Uh, yeah, they can. I, they have support. Ant Hill and other factions are more than willing to sell weapons like this and to help develop randoms like this. But mainly, randoms have to work hard to get stuff like this because, like, staff has access to this stuff. Randoms, like, they have to play in the server for a while. There's limitations, and then they can get access to do stuff like this uh, by becoming staff eventually. Um, like I said, though, if a random tries, to, or, or if a, uh, if I, as an example. A superpower tries to do something of using these kind of weapons against a small faction. The consequences are pretty big because Ant Hill, like I said, is the keeper of peace. Uh, we have the most military and anything out there, and we have the most, you know, boom boom stuff out of everything out there. We have ballistic missiles. We have re we have aircraft carriers that, believe it or not, are awesome because we can launch uh, swarms of military jets and like just bomb the shit out of things, and we can actually do dogfights with military jets, by the way, and we, I mean, Ant Hill's the only one with a proud navy and an actual air force, no one else has an air force, although other factions are starting to come together to make navies, but I'm just going to show you how, like, weak these, uh, these ships are. That was one anti-destroyer bullet. They're pretty weak, uh. As you can see, it literally just blew up the whole hull. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna re oh, I did not mean to regen that. That said, no, no. I did something that I really shouldn't have. Give it a second to come back. I meant to undo. Server's kind of lagging. Give it a second. It might disconnect me for a second. I, I goofed up here. But yeah, like it's gonna time me out here. It's it's fine. Just give it a small second here. It should be done. I don't know why it's taking, it's ripping so hard to uh do that. But whatever. Um, there is a Dynamap. People can view the Dynamap, and I don't know if you know what Dynamap is, but it's actually really cool. You can view in a remote stage. Uh, then you can talk through the server. Why is it? Still ripping. Like, seriously. It cannot be crashing. There's no way that it's crashing from this. I I'm... <sighs> That's a joke. I only re... I you saw how much I pasted in a destroyer. I just accidentally regen the destroyer I copied from. How on earth would that constant, like, lag like that? Okay, whatever. Just give it a minute. It's probably going to restart in a second. So I have the server to so automatically... Yeah, there we go. It crashed. Of course it crashed. It's typical. It'll reboot. It reboots on its own. 
Plus, I'm going to have to get involved to reboot it, which I will not be happy if I have to. There we go. It's up. Time map just came alive. It's practically done rebooting. Yeah, I don't know why it lagged like that, but whatever. Oh, I guess... About to do is what apparently what crashed the server. It's it's mediocre. That that apparently crashed the server. What I just did there. I just did it from across the map. Big joke. Anyhow, let's go back to the destroy or the fleet, and I'm gonna paste in one of the more you know badass ships, and you're gonna see it eat, and return fire. Uh, I just need to get out in a pretty, like, open location. Uh, we're not going to use one of those. Uh, this is a good example. We'll use the Lincoln. The Lincoln's a good example of this. Um, something that's really crazy about these ships, these ships actually do, like, time out the server. The server doesn't crash, but it does time me out. So the best way to paste one in without lagging is to turn on your render distance and get out of the world, or just turn on your run of distance while you paste one in, because they just take up so much uh, space. And they're, you know, a lot to paste in, they're a lot of ship. Um, these are actually based off of the the, the uh, USS Iowa class ships that you might have seen from the US Naval Forces back in the 1940s during World War II. Alright, um, I got TB RAM ports. Uh, nope, didn't get water. Okay, let's try negative. Same conditions, okay. Let's try negative this. Oh, I see water. Oh, it's just a river. Oh, I think I see an ocean. And this is an awesome looking old island, actually. Is this an island? Don't know. Uh, hold on. Okay, we want to face... Uh... Oh, this is perfect, actually. I could just fire right here. This actually gives me a perfect opportunity to test something. Alright, so to properly paste one of these in, the safest way to do it is to... Bring that all the way down. Up one. The easiest way to paste one in. We'll wait for my little name to change colors here. This shouldn't time me out. There we go. It's a lot of ship to paste in. Normally, if you take down your render distance, it helps a lot. So, first thing I want to show you is, uh, this is the most, uh, heavily armored, uh, cannon ship. And, uh, these ships are, uh, quite lethal. And there's apparently a lot of lighting glitches here, I have no idea why. It tends to happen in these ships sometimes. Let's just ignore the lighting glitches. Uh, let me show you what I can do with these, uh... We can turn that off. And, alright. I don't like this. And those actually have a, uh, a horizontal bomb. Like, if you uh, carefully distract them here. We'll just we'll have to remotely detonate this because I'm going to have to do the chunks. They're not going to strike anywhere, but they go far. They'll go far. And then they'll like glitch out like that. Yeah, 
Yeah, but that's what happens when they fire that way. And let me see what happens. Is there anything over here I could fire at? Well, I guess not. Okay, and that's fine. We'll fire uh, the big guns, as we call them, down over here. Yeah, it really is. So that was only one round. And it'll probably explode. Oh, okay. So they have explosive shells if you, you have to manually explode the shells because uh, they will not explode on their own, more than likely. So it's just how much uh, wear it needs. But that's how you explode them. It should be going off now. No, it wasn't in range. Okay. I can't put it in all in. I'll have to remotely detonate. It has to be in chunks of loaded. So if someone is in this chunk and it's loaded, it will blow up. Oh, nothing. The hell? Oh well. Uh, let me try something here. I have no idea why it didn't work right. Uh, a lot of this is because it's not in range. It won't properly. Oops. Set cobble. So we can get a good example of uh, impact damage here. Those little things go fast. And these guys should say, I think I know what's wrong here. One second. Same type. Should say tag equals gun. And I believe these guys say gun. Okay. That's what it should have done on first try. Yep. So here's what it looks like on first try. Uh, these things, they uh, they have been modified, they have been fixed, it's just a... Uh, might have been... Wait for me to get over there. Looks like they're over there, and... Oh, I... They didn't reach time. Uh, this ship can eat lead, like no tomorrow. I can actually detonate some of those. Um. Oh, And, uh, now, remember those anti-destroyer bullets that I had from that ship? Watch this. You ready for that? Watch how much damage this, uh, anti-destroyer bullet will cost the ship. That's just how armored these things are. Up. Uh, one. Alright, you ready for this? Yeah, here we go. Oh, that's not the right one. Alright, here's the particle. Alright, watch. Oh, didn't work. That's all it does. These things really are meant to take hits. all it does to it. And these turrets can respawn too, by the way. If you go ahead and modify it real quickly. You can still run them hard. See? 
Like, this turret could still fire. I mean, it fire really goofy, but it could still fire. I actually want to see what it would look like. <laughs> it still fires. Yeah, but these, these, these things are tanks, and, uh, just so you, in case you want to know what one of those big gun things would look like, um, here, give me a second. Yeah, this, this thing can literally eat lead, so, let me go ahead and, uh, demonstrate what one of those particle bombs would look like on the ship, if you want to see. modify the commands here. Okay, here we go. Manual particle bomb detonation warhead. They're very, very, very strong ships. They can take a lot of beatings, and uh, I've definitely seen them taking a lot of beatings before. And, uh, it takes the ship a lot of hits before it can really go down. Uh, ignore this. This isn't really a tactical nuke, but it's it's definitely a very powerful bomb. That's like the maximum power, like airdrop you can do. Yeah, it blew the bridge apart, but I mean the the ship is still practically safe. There's no inner hull damage, as you can see. If there's inner hull damage, the alarm would be going off. Well, she can probably take another. That would sound off the alarm. The alarm just got screwed up right there and then. I hit the alarm head on. So it's not going to sound. But yeah, that's inner hull damage now. So it takes, like, pretty much a lot of things to uh, mess one of these up. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. As you can see to the front of the ship, uh, there's how much... It holds its shape, so... It's a very, very, very tough ship. Very tough. I mean, it's a battleship. It's supposed to be tough. And this ship can launch... Uh, oh. Hey. And this ship... Ian... Yeah, this ship can launch approximately 162 tomahawks. The more elite versions can launch a total of, I think, 274. So this is just a pure big gun ship, and the more equipped, uh, I guess you could say, um, the more equipped uh, tomahawk cruise ships are way better. Hey, Cape. I don't actually know who that is, but thank you. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down to two. We're gonna go to the front of the ship and regen this. This could actually uh, greatly lag the server. <laughs> But I actually do need to do some faction related things uh, on here. So I'm going to go check outposts, check radars of different uh, military bases that we have outposted and remove this heavily damaged ship. This could lag pretty hard. <laughs> hey. I don't know what's going on here. Because it just said it regened and it didn't. So I'm pretty sure it didn't actually regen. Don't stop me. I'm gonna, I've got the queen 
having a good time in my head still. Oh, there's a guardian temple right there that we're right next to. Actually. That might be a little bit too much for the server to handle. Okay, someone else is watching. Hello, welcome. And uh, just get my timing out here. Kind of a big thing to do. Alright, so, for now on, we're going to go ahead and uh, go ship hopping. I wonder if there's a way I can manually, uh, there's a way I can uh, switch it around so I don't necessarily just game capture, I can share my screen. I wonder here. Let me see something. Uh... I don't think there is actually. I think there is, but not while I'm streaming though. So, uh, anyhow, this base is actually not too far away from it. Oh, so oh no, home. Oh, we forgot to turn on the uh, into the fence system. Into the fence system is a big one. Oops, I keep doing that wrong. There we go. And we're currently at Fort Charles. And I'm actually going to be doing some patrol routing in Ant Hill as of right now. Oh, I need to turn my render distance back up. I don't want that down and back to two. As of right now, we're currently located at Fort Charles. Fort Charles is kind of like a desert island kind of a thing. There's a couple of factions outposted around here, and we normally try to check, make sure everything's okay. Faction over here, that, oh, there's a naval base over here, an enemy naval, or I wouldn't say enemy, but uh, a neutral naval base. Some claims out here. And a large claim out here. Okay. We're going to start a patrol run here. We're going to use the uh, attack elytra thing. Oh, I got rid of it, didn't I? No. Alright, I guess we're going to patrol run in Ant Hill first. Okay. Where's the armory? Armory, armory. Need one of these books. This thing turns the uh, all right, slash back. Or I guess we can start an anthill first. Oh, no, he's just fine. Or maybe. Hold on, how far away is this from all the other factions? Pretty far, actually. A couple outposts. Uh, there's a couple of factions around here. I guess we'll start our runs. I'm just checking Dynamap. In case anyone doesn't know what Dynamap is, I want you to check out this link. 
anyone watching a stream can interactively uh, interact with the current server if they're interested. You can interact with the map and follow me around if you'd like. I sent it over in the stream chat. So if you have two streams or two monitors, you could stream me and something else at the same time. Oh, I don't have any rockets. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Right, let's give myself more rockets. As you can see, I'm going to be patrolling the base over here called Big Boobs. I don't know why they named themselves that, but that's the first on my patrol list. We just passed over an island. Um, that's a long story. Uh, I <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. I forgot to clear that honestly. And they don't have anything new in the surface. They actually have an underwater base, so that's fine. A little outpost over here. Diamond rock. Okay. So I see something here on diamond map. Oh, I thought they might have gotten attacked for a second there. All right, now we just gotta move on over to the naval base down here. I actually have been uh, designing new military jets that can reach like actual like supersonic speeds. They can go fast, faster than the speed of sound. That's something I was going to do. And uh, so basically if you're facing one direction, you can go one direction really fast. Seriously, like the, the whole nickname thing was kind of stupid. A little low to the ground, actually. Oh, I just literally collided into a wall. That's fantastic. Just so I can see for now. Yes, I am. Uh, that's their naval outpost. They're actually an allied faction. I'm just checking out my surroundings. This is normally what I do when I play legit uh, on the server. I go around to certain outposts and just check exactly what's going on, you know, if any things out here. I've actually seen some outposts being built uh, around some of our allied factions from enemies. There's like kind of like a united thing that goes on between us. circling around. What the hell, I'm rubber banding. Alright, this area looks good. I know, I want more people to play on the server. I've been trying my best. We can only do so much, you know? Oh, jeez. That was bad. That's why I want you to advertise for me so bad. To be honest with you.
Okay. Alright, this is their base. They've got a naval ship right there. Their little hangar. <laughs> nice. Alright, their base looks good. Well, let's head out of here. Now we're gonna head up to... Time Rock's main outpost. I know for a fact they're fine. Another faction up here. It's a long flight, though. I don't have supersonic capabilities with this particular elytra kit. So, probably not the best area to go that way. As it would require quite a bit of, uh, I need supersonic flight. And I don't have any supersonic flight, uh, capabilities on this particular kit. So I'll check them out later. So, um, mainly, one of the main reasons I have the, uh, the minimap mod, as you can see right there, and the multi, and mainly that minimap mod is, when I'm flying like this, it's actually really convenient to see bomb targets. Well, you gotta get, have the area generated first, but when your area is generated, when you've been on the server in that area, um, you can actually, uh, do some good damage, like, I mean, it's pretty nice. So as of right now, we're heading back to base, uh, Fort Echo, or I think it's Fort Charlie. Then we're gonna go to Fort Echo, and Fort Echo, we'll go from there, we'll hop around to some of the aircraft carriers. I don't think we have any aircraft carriers positioned out anymore. But we'll flip around to some of the aircraft carriers, if there are so many out there. I don't know if there are still. And from there, we're going to go ahead and, uh... I think we'll go ahead and, uh... A good chunk of them, actually. Quite a bit. Um, but uh, a lot of them have disbanded because they've been AFK. And they've been gone for too long. Oh! Oh, oh, oh gosh! Uh. I goof, I goofed up. So I'm trying to like move my chair and I messed up. I just ran out of a rocket. Uh no. <laughs> Uh, actually, we kind of are, kind of aren't. We're mutual at this point, but we had a massive cold war with them, and they actually threatened to, uh, to do some pretty nasty damage to us, and we, uh, might have bombed them a couple times and whatnot. They've, we've gone to war with them a couple times. There we go. Yeah, I should have shut the runway off, because if I, as soon as I walk over here, it might just slingshot me. Oh, yep. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ow, ow. Should have shut the wrong way off. There we go. That's all shut off. I'm a stupid cow. Okay. Home Fort Echo. Alright, we're at Fort Echo. Fort Echo is actually, if you go ahead, uh, just in case you don't know, you can actually, there's like a thing on the side of the map, um, and it's at the very right. It has a little little arrow. You can pull that out, and uh, when you pull it out, it opens like a panel that shows like map types, and it shows the players. You can click on that, and you can see the new Fort Echo location. And uh, right next to us is an old faction base that I was actually going to blow up. It's not owned by anyone, and nobody else wants it, so... Uh, it was going to be decommissioned, and it was the faction moved, and so, therefore, nobody wants it. But in this area, this is the hot zone. This is what we call the hot zone out of all uh, places, and that's because everyone is here. There is everyone in this one area right here. I can actually send a link to the Dynamap for this one area, but we call it the hot zone because it's uh, 
I mean, a lot of factions are no longer existing over here, but uh, it's mainly where uh, a bunch of like superpowers are constantly going at it, and uh, normally it's not the best. But, uh, oh, come on. That's the link in case you want to see it. Um, as of right now, I'm doing a patrol route around here. So, first off, there's a new naval base that's been in production uh, to our northeast of uh, Fort Echo. There's also a small... That's ungenerated. I mean, it has been generated, but that area in particular is not generated currently due to... Uh, a mild glitch up this area there's a base if you notice uh, right in front of us here and uh, right to the north and a little bit to the west of us I was actually gonna claim that and turn it into a naval base most likely a close by naval base or maybe a uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet but I'm gonna do something with it or if not give it to someone because I don't want it and I don't want it to go to waste uh, the Roman Empire is hostile territory and then right next to Ant Hill. And then we've got a MIDI. Sir King's HQ. What looked like to be an outpost. And uh, just in case you're wondering, uh, Roman Empire is basically the Nazi Germany of the server. They're, uh, they like to conquer everyone and they like to piss everyone off. And they actually uh, embrace the swatska, which is not a great thing, but they'll actually go around and like put swatskas up everywhere. Hey, we got five viewers. Hey, I'm surprised we had any viewers at all. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching and tuning in. What? So I'm going to go ahead and launch off here. Sometimes it glitches out a little bit. So we're going to follow a Dynamap here. And we're going to go to our first location over here, which is the Zoo Dudes. Which is my friend Sam's. Just check the parameter. Ooh, a little low. Let's climb some altitude. Let's go down a little bit. Oh, I did not need to do that. What is that? I gotta land real quick. What the heck is this? <laughs> Someone made like the most ghetto, f like little hut. What the hell? I don't even know. Probably a random. I mean, I could imagine the poor soul that designed that. Alright, sling. Oh, okay. Hey, faction portal is right here, actually. And the zoo dudes, like, mansion should be over here. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Uh, yeah, for us it's slash F space claim and then and then the circle or square or whatever you want to claim it as and then basically if you, it, it only works if you have a faction but I can show it to you if you come on here you need to gain power first and to gain power you need to play on the server for to get max power you need to play on the server for four hours and the max is 40 power. Oh, we went from five to three. Kind of sucks. Their house is over here. There it is. Ta -da. Yeah, that's awesome. I bet you're enjoying watching this. 
right, so Zoo Dudes is all good. We're going to head to the north here. I'm hopefully going to be doing more streams like this. You can tell custom HUD mods strictly for flying and stuff. It's awesome. Yeah, I can tell the northeast and stuff like that. It's much easier. We actually have an anthill destroyer located in this little lake right here. And there's actually the wolf pack is right here. We're going to be passing by uh, a small little domesticated faction and a large, uh, and like a little ship outpost. that pillar's for. Here's the wolf back. Hi. And uh, over here is their little naval outpost up here. Well, they, it's not really a naval outpost, it's their main naval base. I don't know what they're up to. Yeah, what's up? Like, what do you mean? Like, uh, we use straw poll and stuff, like, if people want to vote on something in the server? That's normally what we use. Is it? Is it on it right now or no? Ah, uh, what the hell is this place? I never saw this before. Is that really? That's really weird, actually. I don't remember building this. That's really crazy. Owner Vilicus! Oh, that's my friend! He put that up there. Oh, okay. What is this place? This is so weird. I've never seen this place before. What? He 
built it. Fire. Happened for, it happened almost 40 hours ago. What should I do? So someone raided this. To the, to the base? I think someone raided it. <laughs> and they raided the wolf pack. And the wolf pack actually does have some super weapons. So whoever raided this, I hope they have balls. I should take some screenshots for him. Just be safe. I don't know if he knows about this. That was stupid. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well, I got right back where I started. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this. Kind of interesting. Hotel ticket. Oh, I think I remember hearing about this. I never saw it, though. I remember this. Someone said something about the hotel. They're making, like, a stupid hotel thing. And, uh... It never worked out. I guess one of them burnt it down or something? I don't know who, who would have. It's a little much. Alright! Up, up and away. Oh, that, that didn't work at all. I'm like sitting right here. Oh. There we go. All right, now that we've investigated over here, our goal is to uh, head downwards. Uh, I think there is some outposts. Wait, really? That's awesome. I should totally do that. Thank you for telling me. I had no idea. That's a good idea, I might do that. Hold on, did you just see that? Never mind, I'm just listening. Did. What was that? Is that a flare? That's a cool island. Alright, we're kind of, we're about to go into hostile territory.
things. I, I think, uh, I think people have uploaded them on their friends of advertisers and stuff. Health of Actions has been around for almost three years now, so, or almost four years, I should say. Alright, here's the Roman Empire. These guys are like dicks. Our capital city that isn't done yet. And then their Viking village, as I call it. I'm telling you, these guys are like full on Nazis. It's quite crazy. go past the midi, a couple other factions, and we're headed back to a Hill. We're gonna land at a Hill's main base. Bomb test sites, great. King's HQ, we are over, over here. Server Trade Center is over here. And Ant Hill. That's all it takes. So, I think that's the end of that run. Pretty much all done there. think I have anything to do, but I'll, I'm going to live stream tomorrow. It's a little late, so I'm going to head off. But uh, thank you for watching. Uh, whoever else is watching, thank you too. Because currently there's three people watching. So I'll be streaming most likely tomorrow, like whenever. So check whenever you want. Uh, just keep it open. I'll most likely even stream tonight, maybe. Uh, but uh, I don't know. It all depends. It's like 2 in the morning, so see you later.